I should have never reconnected his mouth. We took the risk, Doctor. As I was saying, a fascinating cultural development of a kind which hasn't been seen in ages. <laughs> the last such occurrence took place on old Earth when the Romans were warring. <laughs> Well, are you coming, Jim? Or do you want to go through life looking like your first officer? I'm on my way. And I love you, Mary Mommy. Each kiss is as the first. Reverse yet. Set course for Starbase 4, Mr. Sullivan. Yes, sir. Peace and long life, Spark. Live long and prosper, Miranda. Peace. I wonder how humanity managed to survive. We overcame our instinct for violence. We need no urging to hate humans. But for the present, only a fool fights in a burning house. Out! <laughs> I think that we could manage to be in that vicinity at that time if you wanted to thank the Fabrini personally. Well, I hope we won't have similar opportunities to test those orders which you never heard. Ahead, War Factor 2, Mr. Sulu. War Factor 2, sir. Correct Enterprise. Mr. Scott, prepare to beam us up. I have a little surprise for you. I'm bringing a visitor aboard. That's no malfunction? No, sir. Goodbye, Dila. I shall certainly give the thought all the consideration it is due. Ahead, walk back to two. Aye, aye, sir. Walk back. Well, I doubt seriously if there's any kind of an antidote for the Enterprise. In this particular instance, Doctor, I agree with you. Ahead, walk back to two. Letting yourself be hit on the head, and I presume you let yourself be hit on the head, is not exactly a method King Solomon would have approved. Mr. Scott, ready to beam up. Aye, aye, sir. Do you suppose that's all they ever had, sir? No. But that's all they have left. Four factor two, Mr. Sulu. Set course for Starbase four. Director transporter control, one to beam down to the planet Gideon. I will miss you, Captain James Kirk. Beauty is transitory, Doctor. However, she was evidently highly intelligent. I don't agree with you, Mr. Spock. Indeed, Captain. Beauty... survives. Dr. McCoy, Mr. Spock, and Engineer Scott find themselves in complete agreement. Can I stand the strain? I do wish he could forget her. Forget. Do not give up your search for Eden. I have no doubt but that you will find it. Or make it yourselves. Thank you. We 
reach, Mr. Spock. Kirk to Enterprise. Mr. Scott, beam us up. There's still so much of their work to be done in the galaxy, Mr. Mr. Sulu, break us out of orbit and continue to our next assignment. Aye, aye, sir. That was 5,000 years ago. And she is dead now. Dead and buried. Then go to maximum warp as soon as we're there. Kirk out. <laughs> Life could have been as rich as any woman's. If only 